Alright, welcome back Busters, I'm Bassib, this is my cat Junior, and I'm finally back with another Sly Cooper video. It's been about four videos since I talked about Sly Cooper. I had a feeling you guys were probably getting a little antsy, I know most of my subscribers are here for Sly Cooper. So I figured I'd pump another video out for you guys, and this is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be a Sly Cooper memes video or Sly Cooper Reddit video. <laughs> Nowadays it seems like that's all I can do, but uh, it will be another reaction video, I'm not going to lie. I mean, at this point I've just become like a Sly Cooper reaction channel. But listen, I I've done my time, listen, I've made hundreds of Sly Cooper videos more original than what I'm doing now. Hey, I have a right to be lazy, okay? Just, I have an excuse, it's fine, but today we're going to be taking a look at some like more high quality versions of the Sly Cooper characters, Sly Cooper in 4K if you want to say that. Considering the movie, TV show, and Sly 5 were all cancelled, um, we haven't seen much of Sly Cooper in an HD form. Yeah, we saw him in Thieves in Time, he was sort of HD, we uh, saw him in the movie trailer, that kind of stuff, but uh, you know, I figured let's leave it up to the fans to reimagine these characters uh, and see them a little bit differently than before. And some of this stuff I've already talked about or I've been wanting to talk about for a while in like its own video, but I figured I'd just put it all together since it's, it's kind of like under the, the, the same general idea. Sly Cooper reimagined, more HD, 4K you could say, that's gonna be the title. But starting off here, this is one thing that I want to just bring up right away because I thought these were amazing. So somebody on ArtStation, and I'll have all their links and stuff in the description, and I'll find the name here soon, but recreated Sly, Bentley, Murray, and Carmelita in this HD CGI form. Now, weirdly enough, for my first Sly Cooper Reddit video, I had this as my thumbnail, and I don't even think I even like looked at it in the video or even brought it up, so that's kind of strange. I probably should have done that but it, leave, it leaves uh leaves it for me to talk to what am i saying but i guess i can just talk about it here and starting off with sly uh, he's definitely not my favorite of the bunch uh but the thing is he looks relatively good i would say uh they went for the more sly one approach i would say with uh, the red backpack i've never been a big fan of the red backpack i do like the pouch on his side i think that looks a lot better uh and then there's thieves in time which did both not even gonna address that, I don't know what they're thinking. But it's almost as if they have sort of this claymation look, which I like, but also there's fur, so it's not necessarily claymation. I don't know, it's a little strange. It, it seems like this is an arts and crafts project. Like, it looks like a real thing. It, you know, with the seams and everything for uh, the fabric and, you know, even the fur looks super realistic. I mean, you can take a look at a lot of different uh, CGI stuff and say, hey, that looks pretty real, but I'd say this looks extremely real. It's almost unsettling in a way, but I, I weirdly I weirdly like it. I think it looks nice. I don't know if this would uh, you know fit well for like a game design, but overall I think it's good recreation. Moving on to Bentley, Bentley's definitely my favorite out of the bunch because I think it's more reimagined than the other characters. Like the other ones you can say, yeah, that's Sly, that looks pretty much like Sly. Same with Murray and Carmelita, but Bentley looks a little bit different here. And it really just all has to do with the glasses. I noticed in the movie design that they did a similar thing where they're showing the eyes. You can see Bentley's eyes here, which were never really seen in the Sly Cooper series, unless you count that one cutscene in Thieves in Time, which was just two black dots, so not really. And I do like it, it looks more futuristic here, his his glasses are lighting up, which it looks like kind of like a Google Glass thing, or an Iron Man thing, where he could probably, you know, look at a bunch of different, I don't know, graphs and stuff in his glasses, I don't know how that works, but like super high-tech glasses. Uh, so they light up blue, that looks really nice, you can also see his eyes, like I really like this design. Okay, I guess here it is a little bit more up close and, uh, you know, th those look more like his eyebrows than a part of his glasses. I don't know if that's what they're going for, it looks a little strange. Then here's Murray. I'm not a big fan of this, I'm not gonna lie. I, I think it looks cool because, you know, it is the Sly Cooper characters in HD. But they went for the Thieves in Time design, which I always found to be a really awkward design with, like, the stripes on his shoes and, I don't know, even just his the curvature of his face, just overall it's very awkward and I was never really a big fan of it. So no matter how good I'd say the CGI looks, I don't even know what they're using for this, uh, I still would never really like it too much because it's using that Thieves in Time design which I already didn't like. And then Carmelita is strange as well, mainly in the face area. I think everything else looks really good. Um, but I mean overall it's kind of similar to Sly. They're definitely going for a different design here. And while overall it doesn't look bad, like I said, I think the, the body itself looks pretty nice. The face is a little awkward, but I still do really like it, especially the, the shock pistol right here. That looks really cool. Okay, this next thing is a fan project where they created Sly Cooper in the Unreal Engine 4. Uh, they're at Raleigh's hideout right now, at least I think that's what it is. And they just had this little showcase of Sly Cooper roaming around in it, and I wanted to show it off because Barely anybody's seen this video. Like, it barely has any views whatsoever, so I just wanted to go ahead and show it off real quick. Plus, I think it looks pretty good. Um, 
I mean, taking a look at it, I, the animations are relatively smooth. Now, Sly's walking animation is a little awkward. Obviously, this isn't finished, but, jeez, I... It just reminds me how much I want a Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus remake. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I really do think that a remake would be better than, you know, a Sly 5. That's just personally me. But... I mean, it's a little hard to see, and I kind of like that. It makes it a little bit more mysterious, like, hard to, hard to navigate, and I think if they remade the game, they should do something like that. I feel like a lot of people have issues with that, but... You know, not being able, having it being really dark and not being able to see too well, I think just, you know, screams Sly Cooper to me. It makes it feel a little bit more dangerous, like you really are sneaking around. Yeah, yeah, the jump, the jump is definitely not complete. Barely anything is complete here, but I thought it was really cool. And nothing else seems to be done yet, or they haven't really shown off the project since then. Probably dropped it a lot of. You know, fan projects are like that. This next thing is a episode 5 of Sly 2 recreation. So there's no gameplay or anything, you don't actually see Sly Cooper. And uh, some people have talked about this before, I know VT and Vivi made a video on it like probably a couple of years ago, but as you can see, a full HD brand new version in some sort of engine, I cannot tell you, I, I, I don't know anything about this, but let's just take a look. I mean, it just looks beautiful. I, I would have personally chosen a different level to recreate. This definitely isn't one of my favorite levels in Sly 2. It's actually one of my least favorite, but I mean, you choose anything from Sly Cooper and recreate it like this and I'm gonna love it. I mean, it looks fantastic. This makes me want to remake even more. I think a trilogy remake would be amazing. Rest in peace, Rocket. They even got that Easter egg in there that was in the game. fantastic someone please come along and do a true like unreal engine for sly cooper remake fan game i don't know and that is georgia copley on art station as well if you want to check out uh, more of her stuff all right guys that's gonna do it for today's sly cooper reaction video i gotta do some more like original stuff on this channel but i did want to share this with you because i thought all of these different projects were really cool plus considering let's be honest we, there's a really good chance we'll never get another Sly Cooper project ever. I wanted to get this out there because it shows you what could have been or what could be in the future. But thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all did enjoy, and I'll catch you all when next video. Peace. Young Cavo, raps Grateful Dead Back to take over the Valley of Bay's heads A couple hundred and running and rally to chase bread With a couple bug in the function to challenge to raise bread And I know you might have been peeping This floor it may never weaken If we ain't did it with Drew, then we might have did it with Deegan Whiter than most dudes claiming they're Puerto Rican Flyer than post views, most of you won't get even And many a times I wrote a verse like this To let it circle around the block to get